I'm here at the Boys and Girls Club of Tucson where I got an inside look of a new program that is coming to this club. And I want to build something really special and um, the vision is just helping women and making a difference. So I'm so excited. U of A women's basketball coach Adia Barnes knew she wanted to give young girls someone to look up to. I didn't have like any female role models because there weren't any. There wasn't a WNBA, there wasn't any avenue to do anything later, so you didn't aspire to do these things. But I just look back at the opportunities I didn't have. I mean, I didn't have like a Lisa Leslie to look up to. I didn't, there wasn't an Asia Wilson. During a think tank, she came up with the idea to work with the Boys and Girls Club to create the Adia Barnes Sports and Leadership Academy. I wanted to create something where like we don't have to play on the boys team, like we can have our own program. Barnes, like many of her players, grew up going to rec centers, YMCA's and Boys and Girls Clubs. They grew up doing basketball and instead of doing all the girly things that other people would prefer, they did what they wanted to do. We're all about opportunity, so we're giving young ladies the age of 7 to 17 an opportunity to go play basketball or get interested and it's not just necessarily about basketball right now. Nigel Bigby has plans to further the program off the court as well. There will be opportunities for girls to be team photographers, be a part of a social media team and so much more. It'll be female led, leading young females, refed by females. All the master classes and mentorship will be by female. Leagues are set to start in 2024, but the academy will be launched towards the end of this year with a special event highlighting the girls in the first cohort. At the Boys and Girls Club of Tucson, Erin Patterson, KGUN 9.